Welcome to the Lend Me Your Ears podcast, where we explore practical solutions to your sales problems. Today, we bring you an exciting article titled, Five Ways to Successfully Sell in Difficult Economic Times. Originally published on lendmeyourears.co.ke. Picture this, you're in the trenches of a challenging economy, and you've heard it all, the problem is the economy, the economy is bad, buyers aren't biting because they have no money. But here's the kicker, is the problem really the economy, or could it be something else? Could it be how you're approaching these difficult times? Well, today, we're here to shift gears, break free from the norm, and show you how to navigate these economic challenges with finesse. Whether you're a seasoned sales pro or just starting out, this episode promises to equip you with the tools and strategies you need to thrive, even when the economic winds are blowing against you. So, without further ado, let's dive right into it and discover the five game-changing strategies that will help you not just survive but thrive in these difficult economic times. Alright, let's kick things off with our first strategy. Remember, when the economy tightens its belt, it doesn't mean your sales have to suffer. It's essential to put things into perspective. Remember, prospects still need to buy products and services. But with limited resources, they may be picky about what to buy, when and how much of it. So, try and be objective about the issue, put things into perspective lest you get overwhelmed in the notion that it's all doom and gloom. Your customers are still operating, they're just being cautious. So, keep in mind that this is a phase. Remember, even a broken clock is right twice a day. Moving on to our second strategy. Don't fall for the hype. Just because everyone around you is struggling doesn't mean your potential buyers are also struggling. Look for the outliers, the ones who thrive even in challenging times. Think about it, during the pandemic, as private schools in Kenya shut down, falling like dominoes, a few didn't. High-cost Brookhouse School particularly encouraged parents that had sued it for not reducing school fees for online learning, to feel free and seek cheaper options elsewhere. They weren't desperate, and you should not be either. The key is to be objective and not succumb to doom and gloom. Here's another example. While everyone lamented, there is no money, rich Kenyans were holding over a trillion shillings in dollars. That's a massive sum, even in tough times. It's a third of Kenya's budget. So, what can be done? In challenging economic times, it can be beneficial to focus on niche markets that have specific needs or are less affected by the economic constraints. By targeting a niche, you can tailor your offering to their unique requirements and position yourself as an expert in that area. Niche markets often provide opportunities for higher margins and more loyal customers. Limited editions, like Isuzu's only 159 units of Eliud Kipchoge 159D Max, and other exclusive offers are an example of such. Strategy number three, adapt pricing and payment options. When buyers are budget conscious, your pricing strategy needs flexibility. Don't shy away from discounts, but don't lead with them either. Consider proactively revising your profit margins and customizing your offers. Show empathy to the buyer's situation. Remember, it's about striking a balance between maintaining profitability and supporting your customers through economic challenges. Now, let's talk about showing value, our fourth strategy. Purchasing from you could easily have become a routine exercise. In a constrained economy, customers become more discerning. They want to know the real value in their purchases. For example, they may reason, Do I really need to continue incurring this voluntary deduction for life insurance on my pay slip, when I'm struggling to make ends meet now, and more so with the mandatory taxes and levies added? If I must choose between facing immediate hunger and the uncertain potential benefits of death in the future, I prefer to pass away with a satisfied appetite. So, remind and highlight to them, how your product or service can solve their pain points, improve efficiency, reduce costs, or generate revenue. Use real-world examples, case studies, and testimonials to demonstrate the tangible benefits you provide. Last but not least, strategy number five, addressing felt needs. Selling what your customers truly need, 
without necessarily diversifying your product offerings. During challenging times, certain needs may be on the rise, even if others are declining. Take the story of a client, a civil servant, who ventured into farming during the pandemic. Despite skepticism from passers-by and friends that there was no market in his area for the avocado seedlings he was planting, he did not blink. Instead, he sold online. All 10,000 of them. I was getting orders from all over the country. In fact, I could not satisfy the demand, he says. You see, he was not limited to his local surroundings as the naysayers were. Many prospects existed that were in immediate need of the seedlings. The key takeaway here is that opportunities for success can arise in unexpected places. Well, there you have it. Five powerful strategies to thrive in challenging economic times. Remember, it's not about the economy, it's about how you adapt and innovate. Stay proactive, be empathetic, and always focus on delivering value. Thank you for joining us in the thrilling Lend Me Your Ears podcast, and don't forget to subscribe for more hair-raising insights and practical solutions to your sales problems.